Okay, so today I want to carry on with resources and the resource loading. Last time I merged uh, the resource pools and I did a little bit of changes to the loading so that during the main application they are not automatically loaded. Uh, unfortunately, just because I'm not loading them, what's still happening in the state import is that all the declaration data and that is being brought in anyways at the very beginning um, <clears throat> as part of the import state and I want to get rid of that so I'm talking about specifically at some point back here all the resource definitions are imported that means like and all the resources themselves are created in the pool and then what happens is that like the resources are created but they're not loaded what i want to do is i want to fully switch to a system where the resources aren't even created until they're created on demand when you actually need them although like you'll still have like you'll from loading the uh index data for the resources you'll still know that those resources exist unless like the recycled IDs are beyond the fre next fresh ID. But like the resource itself hasn't been created yet and it will not be created. So it won't take up any memory until you actually need it once you actually request it. So the first thing I want to do is uh, this is the function, if I recall, that just goes through and just imports them all if I can find it. And this is the thing that's doing it in the import right here. Yeah. It's just going through all the files in the directory and it's just importing them and creating the data, which we really don't need. And that actually should mean I'll be able to not have to require this create function anymore either. So I can eliminate that. That's a bit of a thing I, that'll be actually kind of nice. Uh, okay, so import resource definitions it starts with the persistent then it goes through the dependencies what no no it's going through the groups and then the uh, okay yeah so this is the section i need to deal with right here if i was to remove these i'm going to bet there's something somewhere that i'm missing where it's not being loaded Armature, for example, not being loaded. There's no on-demand for armature yet, uh, whatsoever yet. So, I need to do something about that. So first, wait, armature pool. Armature pool, is that just a... Uh... Okay, so, okay, first of all, Change that up. Great. Now, uh, yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm just finding it. If it doesn't exist, then I abort immediately. That's not really going to work. Starts off as a null handle. Then I need to go through a while loop where our mature is that then I need to go through and I say need to say armature equals O resource uh, basically equals this and if that's still the case then I need to add it instead for the moment 
that the ID. Then I need to add that it's a do, 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 type armature, and it's the size of oh, armature. So if this can't find it, it returns a null handle. And then it goes into, okay, well, I'll try to add it. And if this returns a null handle, that means because it's already been at, between this and this, it's actually been added, added by something or someone else somewhere. So then it'll go back to this and it'll try this again. And eventually it'll get out of this loop and move on to, okay, maybe it should be a do while instead. Yeah. Because I need to do this at least once while that. And while it's null, then it goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's odd. I, I, I almost never used. Anyways, so at this point, it will always have something there. Then we get down to the point where, you know, okay, if it's not loaded and not is loading, then that. I need to come up with a case for a failure when it fails to load, in which case it just. Okay, so something else is also not loaded. All right. Um... find anywhere else where this is. There's not too many locations. So registration, no, no, no. Okay, here. Hmm. No. I mean, it's not do while, but yeah. No, that's fine. Rend ah, this will be it here. Or otherwise it's armature and, okay, I've got to do this as well down here at the PK animation. So here and VK animation. So let's see what we got. Vertex descriptor, okay, that's, That and that, okay. Then we get down to this point where I got a do while loop. This is going to become we are adding it's a photographics resource structure type for text descriptor. It's the size of that. Okay, great. If that else it's doing this in which case we do the same thing here but with a different value it's that okay then we need a do while loop for the material and then the mesh Yeah, 
that. Get out of there. That, that, that. course like find this resource pool ad needs to change up I cannot give this straight away can I I don't think so anyways oh and I need to do it here right yeah down to here so it's not that it's this and this with no oh, it literally is that okay Graphics resource mesh. Okay, why can it not f find this? What's Vulcan Core doing here? Okay. And secondly, armature. Armature. Uh, these should not be cases anymore, but these still will be. I need to do something a bit better than this, really. Because I'm not even loading it if it's... Am I doing it here? I'm just adding it. I'm not necessarily loading it. Or I'm loading it down here. Am I loading it stuck down here? No, I'm not. I'm just assuming it's already there. Okay. Does it at least start loading stuff on demand? Or loading everything that's required? Yes. Not the names, though, which makes sense because I used to import them through the import all data kind of method. So I need to do something about that. All right. So I need that, and I need this.
Okay, that um, render scene and VK animation. If resources. Something like that. Although, it's not, still not great. Um, okay, so this goes away. Just importing all that, just gone. Bam. Sources. that now I need to deal with loading of the editor names for resources since I'm not doing it here anymore so close that up close that up great great Going back to IMAX, the importer base down here. I I already have a thing for getting an individual resource, so I need a new one which will be uh, get resource editor name equals pure. Okay. That'll break nothing in here. Here we are. We got that. That's an override. Just that. Okay. Go all the way down to here. And let's see what I got. Hmm. Okay. Editor names are can only be set in the Resource entity names can only be set in the initial uh, data set that def declares them. They cannot be edited or added or removed 
after that point. So, th so that I don't have to deal with um, trying to figure out translations. I, I don't even check for translations here, do I? Ooh, that's not good. So yeah, first of all, I need to make sure that this exists. If it doesn't, then return empty string. And I need to make sure it's actually a part of this. Otherwise, YAML node, root node. Mm. Okay, yeah. Love that. Do I need a file name? I don't really need a file name. I guess this is a const and really I'm not making any modifications to it. So we're going through each of them. I need to make sure if not your entry dot is regular file, uh, just continue. So that'd be a nice little thing to do here. Just reduce that a little bit. Okay. I need to parse the file stem. Still need to do that. So this should actually be resource index ID. I need this needs to be that instead, specifically. Like that. Okay. <laughs> if file index not equal resource index ID continue File group, okay, if ID value to group of file group value not equal foe ID persistent, then we also need to continue here. This isn't the file we're looking for. Here we found the files, so then we want to do the this. Yeah, this is kind of hmm. Uh So we got that. We need to deal with the error case where we return otherwise we need to go to opened YAML file.
We have to go through the try stuff. We don't want to do this. No. We're not going for this, are we? No. We're trying to go through this stuff. So we've got the YAML node stuff. We're going through this. Try. Okay. We don't have that. We have a root node. We're going through What's the re what's the in red ID? What's the ID that we've read? We want to make sure it's correct still, at least. So we got that, we got a root node, which we've read in from there. We are, we're not, we don't care about this. And we don't care about this stuff either. We don't care about this either. Then we want to return that. We're just gonna have several returning locations for that. Empty, empty, doesn't really matter. Like that. Okay, I need to make sure. that this is correct. Something like that. This would need a dummy dummy uh, implementation. Just do that. Okay. Okay. Now I need to actually uh, go around and start using it. I need to get in. I need to get the data into the um, actual map. In okay, index data, index data, data. So it'd be here. If P simulation set uh, P resource name map not equal null pointer, we need to do this. Then groups first and then persistent group. Need to go through basically like this. I need to get the group importer. That's still correct. 
need to make sure if continue out need to go through indexes for the group because I'm not reading all the data in but I at least have the index data so I know what exists Available, avail, okay. So I need to start for ID index, next, fresh index. I need a vector of, of those recycled. Indexes, and then I need to go to key simulation set. I need to go to the group data. Resource indices for to group of group value. I need to export that state into Indexes. Okay, we do that. Hmm. Number of indexes is next fresh index minus recycled minus the foe ID index min value. That should be enough. So Got to go through them all. ID index min value. This is not going to be a very good way to do it, is it? Ah, whatever. Um, of recycled indexes if recycled index is less than or equal to index ID and I need to in, uh, increment that or else we break out yeah this is awful whatever P group importer get resource editor name excellent with um, index ID that we have if we got it we want to add it so P simulation set P resource name map I don't actually bring it in. No, I do not. Editor name map. Back here, we add to the ID. Um, need to create 
the ID, which is the full ID value to group of the group value. Uh, and that's ID, and give it the editor name. Okay, I think that works well enough. Now the only difference here going to be I need to do the persistent group, which is the persistent importer. That's always going to actually exist. Uh, persistent resource indices. Okay. Mm, no. <clears throat> okay, so what's going wrong where? Let's see if it even hits this. Yes, it does on index of one, which I'm pretty sure does exist. So we go in here. Going through, we're on uh, oh, 04, so that's not going to be it at all, right? Four with persistence, yeah. Wait. That's supposed to be the group value. That's not the group value. Yeah, okay. Stop that. Still nothing. Ah, uh, well. So which one are we looking for? We're looking for index ID of one. So we just keep going through until we find the one I'm interested in. So we got 04, 7, 5, A, DC one. Okay, here we go. We found it. This is what I'm looking for. Group value 14. Okay. Okay. Didn't read anything. Okay. We do we at least read the I must have read the ID in at least, right? Three eight, whatever. I mean, yeah, it must have matched. So I at least read that. This should have an editor name, which it definitely does. Okay. Hmm.
Wait, it's right there. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. It's another, that's why. There's a local variable within this uh, scope that just get overwrote the uh, actual, there we go. Okay, we got it all without importing and creating the resources, except on demand. I got the names, that's the important thing. Now, I am quite sure that how I'm doing this, sorry, not this, group data. Where am I? Import state, close all the right. This is probably wrong. This probably needs to, first of all, be sorted. I need, it, I need to test this somehow. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I need to test this. Um, if I go up to here, ECS test, index generator is probably a good location. Let me see. So we have this here. This looks about right. Mm. Yeah, okay. So I got the export state. Okay, here where I get the export state. So got a test section. Need to output put that out. the next free ID minus size um, recycled dot size minus index min value go through all those just make sure I got it right so it becomes this and this Test for ECS. Uh, nope, 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 nope. For ECS, test, test. Okay. Of course, like the tests are gonna fail, but what's interesting here is the fact that it should only be missing eight, four, and 10. Four is there, eight through 10 is missing. Okay. That's not right. Hmm, okay, well. If, let me guess, if I sort this out, if I do that, one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, then we got, we're, okay. So I need to sort that, first of all. Need to do 
that here and I need to do that here. And again, like this is not very smart. Like this is just brute forcing it, which is not really great at all. Like what I need is something like a for each almost, right? How uh, standard for each works. Something like this. Takes in a first, last, some function. What, wait, hold on. I don't understand. Okay, maybe not something quite like this, but something that allows me to iterate through and pass some function in to do something. Yeah. So like in this case, uh, I want to pass in basically this. Just do this and then maybe this. If uh, it takes in the index ID, no, no. Yeah, it would take in the index ID and you would do, and the context, context and index ID, do this and this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me grab a bit more of a drink. Okay, yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, ECS index generator is about to receive. This new functionality where I'm going to do, hey, um, index or is it for each ID I mean I do know the group so I do that standard function which is a void which takes in a full ID Need to include functional. Call function. I something like this. So what's going to happen is under recyclable, we're doing this. Do I want to? Freeze up. I may want to lock it. I don't think so. I'll say it's not locking. I'll just kind of I'll grab that just for the moment. Or actually, I don't, I don't even need to do that, do I? that do I I just need these copy that paste that great do this why export state that and that okay
kind of do this. Const that for that. do this and we do call function group ID and the index just do that over and over and over and over again and then we leave So first of all, see if this works here in the test area. generator dot for each ID do this please oh and I need to make sure this is sorted Six, seven, nine. Okay, perfect. So then, what I want to do is I want to do it over here. I need to grab what this. grab out the need to reference this stuff and then I just need to follow something like this okay Let's go back to the bring up application. Let's make sure because they're basically all in a dependent group right now. Yep, there it is.
So this is just the ID by itself. Would this be, no, this would just be ID as well. Okay, now I need to do a test of um, in here for this new thing. Mm, or not. Uh, no, I do. I really do. How do I do this? All uh, right, this is how I do it. I need to test. It'd be before the import export, so it'd be here. That I need to test. Um, I got that, I got that. I want to make sure I'm also like test generator is free of 13. Okay. IDs. I want to go through these with a dot for each, where it's going to be this. Place back. ID. Simple as that. Then I got to go through and just check them all, I guess. Two, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Two, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Wire size is ten. There's eleven items. We're here. We've got the existing IDs. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifty. <sighs> right, yes.
Okay. So that would leave... There's some other locations where I do this, the for each ID. That'll convert in a moment. Or actually, I'll just do it right now. Just do it right now before you forget. I am GUI resource list, right? Oh, no, this has got some other logic attached to it. So that's not going to happen. But I should at least make sure that this is sorted. Got that, and the same thing should be happening in here somewhere. Right? Cycled indices here. Okay, got that, got that. This needs to be an updated copyright year. If the ID this so I'll add this separately really I haven't touched these this year okay Committing this, what? Allows for iterating through. Doing some processing based.
something like that. And then we got this, uh, that importer base for that, importer that. That is actually a fix. Correctly parsing Gotta do something about this group ID, this ID value mismatch thing. It's kind of not going to end well. Editor name, this, okay. functionality calls to Something like that. Okay, and that's where I'll leave it for now. Uh, I got a little bit of fun little stuff done. It loads proper, loads on demand, res resources on demand, and I still get the editor names. Yeah. All right, cheers for now. Until next time.